this is the MacBook Pro. We've created something wild. Hi, how's it going? Right now I'm on the Apple webpage and I was wondering if I should go all in and buy the new MacBook Pro. But this is not the topic of the video, of course. So I was thinking, do we need a new benchmark for the new display of the new MacBook Pros? They basically have the same display as the uh, iPad Pro. And what do I mean with that? I think I have to show you. So let's go to the browser. So this is the website of the MacBook Pro. Very expensive but maybe very, very good. But what I'm looking for is exactly that. The new, the new Liquid Retina XDR display. Promotion and all that stuff. But what I'm actually looking for is this one. The back, it says 10,000 mini LEDs in the background. So the technology of mini LEDs is in between LCD displays and OLED displays. It almost has the same contrast as OLED displays with some downsides, of course. And it lasts as long as LCD because OLED burns in and usually doesn't last that long. So why do we need a benchmark for this? So this is what I actually want to show you. And the iPad Pro also has 10,000 mini LEDs. So what does it actually mean and what are the downsides? I think I have to show you in a simulation. Okay, to get an idea about the mini LED display, um, usually you have a backlight panel which is stuffed with mini LEDs. So if you turn on the LEDs, it looks like this. But on the LEDs, there's actually the LCD panel. And this is a semi-opaque, very dark uh, RGB layer. And you really need a lot of light to get through. So, meaning if I turn on the LEDs in full brightness and would take off the LCD screen, it would shine very bright. So, okay. In that LCD layer is actually the RGBs, which are not emitting light, but in here are the colors and the pixels. So let's see what's happening. Take off this, this. So as I said, on this glossy layer uh, are the pixels. So if I want to display a picture, the pixels, the pixels are actually on that layer. So I simulate that with that ball. So if so what does that mean if i want to display a circle i need light in that position so that means if the ball comes into the display one led light has to emit light meaning this mini LED has to turn on. And the more the ball goes into the center, usually the more the LED has to emit light in order to see the ball. However, if we look closely, we have an issue because this is white and it is smaller than this uh, LED. So that means we have blooming ladies and gentlemen and this is the edge case of mini led so why i'm telling you this i think we need a new benchmark for all the new 
uh, coming mini LED displays. Apple started, others will uh, follow. So um, I hope that makes sense. Okay, I will do another example just to be sure. Okay, if I would have a bar, a simple bar, moving into the screen, moving into the screen, then we need LED backlight to illuminate this bar to make it visible. Therefore, those mini LEDs will emit light in order to see this tiny bar. But that also means that we expect blooming around this bar. I forgot one thing. This whole thing is called local dimming zones. So we have probably not 10,000 local dimming zones because it looks like one local dimming zone equals four mini LEDs. So if we look in the iPad Pro ad, uh, it looks like four mini LEDs per dimming zone. So there is a local dimming uh, test out there on YouTube. It's quite popular with almost 600,000 views. And all he's doing is using the bar, as I showed you, and a tiny little square which usually should be smaller than the local dimming zones, as I showed you here, in order to see the blooming. So what we can do is, next to showing uh, the blooming, we can actually uh, give an indication how big the local dimming zones are, how quick they react, and how clear the picture can actually be if uh, there's noise all over it. So what do I want to do? I want definitely add the bar. I want to add a dot instead of a square. And I want to add different sizes within the test. And I want to add something like a little explosion. No, I want to add a huge explosion uh, out of tiny, t tiny fragments. Meaning I want to illuminate all the dimming zones at once, but want to show only pixels or fractals or fragments. And this should uh, give us huge amount of blooming. So now we have to build it. So <laughs> I think I'm actually done. It only took one or two hours and this is a preview from another angle. And if you actually want to know how it looks like, check the other video. So if you liked it, please like the video, maybe subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.